Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. What it do, what it do, what it do, man. This is your boy Azakar. Bringing you flame. You already know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. You be left in the loop every time your boy drop to work. You feel me? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Be Big Brother Ticket TV. Carcino Kwame Brown. Uh, the League Attorney, J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Too Raw for Sports, Too Raw for TV, Kicking with Mr. Moss, L.C. Predator Catcher, J.D. Black, Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Umar Johnson, Corey Holcomb, and so many brothers. Bring the flame. Bring the flame. Captain Tazariak, bring the flame. Captain Kakazai, bring the flame. Of course, the NOIB, bring the flame. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to the black YouTube out there, man. Man, I tell you what, man. Something is wrong with man today. Something is wrong with man today. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a man and I have my urges. I have my itches. I want to be sexually active like a Mickey Ficky. You hear me? <laughs> Especially when you see a nice little fine thing, slim waist, big fat juicy Apple booty and them tatas busting out, you know what I'm saying, 3D wise. Of course, a man gonna have a sex drive, especially when he work hard, force times distance. At least if you didn't buy eight hours a week or some type of work, you, you deserve some sexual pleasure. You deserve some if you end up putting that work. But you got grown men. <laughs> grown men. Taking and likening of young girls. That ain't the business. That ain't the business at all. Not only that, sometimes it be young men, uh, old men want young boys. <laughs> the game is fucked up. These niggas cannot wait till a gal at least 18 or a man at least 18. I ain't condone the same on the same, but, but goddamn, can't you at least respect the age of it? These some sick motherfuckers. I got a case right here. It's a reaction video, y'all. Copyright disclaimer. Copyright disclaimer. Man, this this is a trip. This is a trip right here, man. I have some audio about this man who is seeking a 13-year-old and shows up to the minor house. We're we going to do this educational-wise. This is educational teaching purposes for little children. You feel me? So, uh, I should have got my speaker, but I didn't. We're going to roll with this. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to hear it because you're going to be able to see it. So, I can't stand predators, man. Y'all deserve your heads off. Ah, make sure you subscribe to Police Plug. <laughs> I don't care too much for the police, but I love when they do work like this. On July 8th, 2022, police responded to a call for a report of a suspicious male wandering around the neighborhood. While en route, dispatch advised that they had been getting calls about the same suspect for weeks. The suspect, later identified as Timothy Nielsen, was looking for a 12-year-old girl who he found online. Nielsen came across the girl's YouTube channel and would leave inappropriate comments on her channel. Mm -hmm. That's when her parents decided to take the YouTube page down. Over the years, Nielsen would disguise himself as someone else and contact the girl on her other social media platforms. He would try to contact friends of friends until he was able to locate the area she lived in. That's when Nielsen would travel from Oregon to Ohio to try and find her. On someone's door, trespassing? Yeah, if you don't have permission to be on their property, absolutely. So you, so why are you going door to door if you're trying to meet some girl from the internet for a date? I've been after her for five years and I haven't heard nothing from her. If, if I find her one day, that's fine. If not, I can leave. I just want to go into her and just answer her. Yeah, well, going door to door isn't going to find what her. What am I going to do? Sit out here waiting for her to pull out of the driveway? Well, you don't even know where she lives. I know I do, but I had my cell phone taken away from me. Like, I was sleeping over there by the Walgreens. Okay. And uh, in that night, someone took my cell phone from All me. Right. So, I don't know. Which... So, so what, what's your long-term plan here? Because we, 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 is... we got several complaints about you coming up, knocking on people's doors, soliciting. That's not right, man. I'm just, well, that's why I'm here. I'm, no, I'm not just driving that around. Happen. I'm just saying if, if, if I could get a yes or no answer for her, I would leave. 
You know, I'm going to venture to say if you haven't found her yet, it's probably a no. Where she lives, you don't even know who she is from who. Are you from Oregon? I am from Oregon. Oh, you got this guy's got you got to take this guy in. What? He's been harassing my 12 year old daughter online. That's how old she is? Yeah. Yeah. You're for Disney? Little children? My name is Ask Little Children. Oh, God. This. Oh, my God. The FBI is involved in it, so. The FBI? You know what? All right, hey, hey, stop, stop talking to him. All right, step down here on the street, get off this property. God damn. You in a second, sir. Yeah. What the fuck? All right, so, so th there's your answer. This girl you've been talking to is 12 years old. You're obviously an adult, so that, so that, that conversation. Forbid them hey, for forbid them not. She is 12 years old. That is her parent. He will forbid whatever he chooses. Am I clear on that? 12 is very old. I was looking for a six-year-old. All right, that's disturbing. You know what? Holy and profane. I'm holy. And so is my church, the church of I am Christ. This motherfucker Christ. You're what are you homeless? You live in the area? I'm homeless and a truck driver, and I'm. I'm okay, I'm, where, I'm, do I'm, you have a truck around here? I'm waiting to make some money, man. Okay, how are you gonna make money? Driving trucks, man. Okay, do you have a truck down here? No. When I get some, I'll get some money when I drive some trucks. that have got a class A license. Okay, but if you don't have a truck, how are you gonna make some money? What's, what's this motherfucker off his rocker, boy. What's your first name? Fourteen headquarters. My name is Daz Little Children. All right, what, what's your what's your first name? My name is As Little Children. As Little Children. That is my full name. So your first name is As? My name, first name is As. Okay, A, is it A-Z-Z? -Z? As in As, become as little children, or you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Uh, <laughs> that has, that's not making any sense whatsoever. Become as little children, or you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. This that's what it is. Become as little children, or you will not enter so the what, kingdom of heaven. So what is your government? Whatever back you up, think is paying up, you, whoever you think is paying you, I can pay you more. So, well, you're not paying me. I can pay I'm you more. If it's money, so, that's so what fine. Is, so what is if your, it's for diligence, sir, sir, I'm here for sir. my woman. And if she does not want me, okay. I will leave right now forever. Well, the father has and said that you are not wanted. So you, you this should be free. This is not. Well, that, that's not your place to say that, that you know, you are oh not welcome. Oh, my God. So what, what is your government name that you were given on your on your birth certificate or driver's license? Is this scripted? My name is, uh, you want to social security number? Sure. What's your first name? What's what's the As what's the name what's the name given to you by the government? Timothy. Timothy. And Timothy, what's the what's the last name given to you by the government? Nielsen. N i e l s e n. Forbid them. Yeah, he's just highly agitated. For, forsake your sons. Forsake your daughters. Forsake your wives. Forsake children. Do not forsake little children. I'm little children, and if you're an officer of well, the law, that's you're, it. You're, you're if you Timothy, will die for Timothy Jesus, Nielsen. if you will die for Jesus, die for Jesus right now. If you want to have me taken in underneath the law, go ahead, because you want to you want to fight for that badge right now. Go ahead. I am the, the one Church of Christ who is Muslim and Christian, and we have the living God who has never died. Okay. And if you want to be unfortunate, of course. Whatever, Man, y'all leave that religion shit alone, boy. Y'all see this got this motherfucker all fucked up. Ooh, shit. That's why you should not teach God as three things. This is some fucked up shit. You see this shit? This nigga here trying to ski. He trying to ski. I like how the officer, you know, being sarcastic with him. You know what I'm saying? He make it look like it's scripted, but he getting in information now. He's, he's, he know he dealing with a psychotic motherfucker, so he... With a psychotic motherfucker, you kind of got to, like, get in his range uh, to get him settled, get him complacent, get him comfortable, then put the uh, chains on his ass, because this motherfucker hit throne. Talking about church of God, got love, children, and shit. This nigga here, boy. Your assumption's correct. I'm not with Timothy Nielsen. You need a Who will lose their life for Jesus Christ will find it. Who will lose their life for Jesus Christ will find it. I will lose my life for Christ any day. 
ahead. Okay. I bet you win it before me. Right. I'd find it. Lose your life for Christ. Let me just walk out of here, man. Okay. So, so <laughs> we're going to this whole, I'm looking for this girl I met on the internet. It's against the law. You can't have a relationship with a 12-year-old. So the father forbid it. You're not welcome on this property. So what? what is your long-term goal here, sir? Right now, I need to go take a shit, man. <laughs> Okay, so so as so so after that, so where 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 are you gonna sleep tonight? Oh, not in the business. Not okay. in the business, that's for sure. Okay, God, Wait, right now. Timothy, listen. So apparently, according to dispatch, we, we've been dealing with you in this capacity for a couple weeks. I now. will leave forever if that's what's in her heart that says that I do not want this guy. I will leave forever. Yeah, and that well, five years has okay. been well, so one girl so has was, been a so, long so time. Five five years. So five five years. So would you agree with me that at 12 years old, she's not... I do not agree. Okay. So, well, I'm, I'm telling you that you're not to have any type of relationship... With, okay, you know, as little girl. children, okay. right? She's going to be old okay. one day so, and die. So? Because well, I will live forever. And I will kill myself. That I will kill myself. Okay. So are you making threats to harm yourself? No, I'm not. Are you sure? Because you just said I'll kill myself. If without her, I will die one day. Well, and then we're all going to die one day. Right. And I hope my day is soon. Okay. Oh why, God. Why? Why is that? I'll be diligent with you, with you, sir. Okay, I appreciate that. But so why? Why do? Why do you? Why do you think you? I mean, we're all going to die one day. But I mean, so but in, you know, you understand she's twelve, but I understand from you that that doesn't make a difference. But to you me. don't understand God. With men, things aren't possible. With God, all things are possible. All things. I understand that. I mean, that that that's what they say. And I want to know what's in her heart. Her heart. Okay. So, so at 12 years old, if, if she says, yes, don't I'm give, in love with this. Don't give me all that stuff, man. I've been with well, one girl I'm, all these I'm, years. I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. I've gone whoring around with other girls. I've been with one girl this whole year. Okay. And where's that girl at? Two girls. Okay. All these years. Okay. All these years. I tried to build this church. One, one church is all that's left. It's because God has never died. He's always living. He's a living God. And he has never died. He escaped that death. When he came back and he was like crying, he said, what you guys doing all sleeping? Let's go. That's God for you. And he drives the biggest ship around here. And they're going to be on the mast for me. Back mast, front mast, my two girls. Okay, so who do you think lives here? Oh, man, I'm in a nightmare, man. I've been five years here, man. Five years on the okay. same girls. And I don't do other girls, man. I'm not. I'm, well, so so you know these two I'm girls' not, names, I'm, but so, I've been putting in nobody in danger. So, so who do you nobody. think lives? And I put. I'm putting nobody. In but danger. you've never. But how, so how I, do you? How do you? From the internet, I will never harm anybody. I'm putting nobody in danger. Okay. I I, I could be, maybe just take a date with no sex. I'm not looking for sex. Maybe just to date for coffee or something, man. Just just. Do you think 12 year olds drink coffee? I'll buy your dinner, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Lock this motherfucker right. up. So, so they do have a. So he keeps talking about. They have a daughter, her best friend. So apparently they had like a YouTube channel like five years ago, but he somehow started just stalking them. He, so he bent for this Martin Oregon, and now he knows where he is. Like in my conversation with him, like he's leaving with this 12 year old. Like nobody's going to tell him no. He doesn't care about the law. Under, you know, under under God, no no one shall forbid. Blah blah blah. Like these, these folks are scared to death. I'm trying to figure out myself. But he said five years. They haven't posted in a while, and I'm like, how do you know they live here? He's like, I love their channel. Once I started watching that channel, I didn't know as shit. He's from Oregon? Yeah, he was. This is the guy, my daughter. I'm like, oh, my daughter. Is he from Portland? He said he's from Portland. 
I, I don't know. Yeah, so I just, like I said, I haven't run the ID. To, uh, Terry said that it's probably this guy. I lost a deal with him. But he said he came from Portland. So I'm like, where are you staying? He goes, well, it's downtown Cleveland. But Portland's way nicer than Portland. I mean, so, so he's homeless. I mean, he, these parents, like, I guess he found out mom's cell phone. I guess he called mom's cell phone a couple weeks ago. And, like, now he knows where they live. And so, like, they're they're petrified. So there's no way the mom is on the Internet in some capacity. This guy's after the mom. Is he after the mom? No, it's definitely the kids. It's, uh, it's definitely the kids. Yeah, I'm fearful this little, for this little girl's safety. Apparently the FBI got involved, like, five years ago. And, like, apparently this agent, and I, and I don't have all the details about it. We just talked briefly. Uh, but apparently, you know, all the, uh, they were involved, said it's a mental situation. Yeah, but, yeah, but the, the FBI guy's like, he basically told the family, he goes, he lives in Oregon, I wouldn't worry too much about it, and here he is on their front porch. All right, Mr. Nielsen, I told you I would do you one favor. Um, I, I, I did speak with the 12-year-old, and I know while you said that you don't care if you're 6 years old, 12 years old, it's what you feel in your heart, uh, she wants nothing to do with you. Nope. Do you believe it came from her? I talked to her, I talked to her specifically. Do you believe it came from her? She wasn't under distress at all? Well, no, she's not under duress. How do you know? Because I was in the house. How do you know she's not under duress right now? Okay. How do you know she's not under duress? Huh? Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. We're not, we're not going to have you acting up like this. There's some crazy motherfuckers out there, y'all. Y'all see this shit? I can't believe this. Look at this shit, man. Step this way. It doesn't matter. Yours is probably easier to get into. I've done nothing. I got to get off his props. <laughs> he played, you know, like boo-boo the fool, you know, but getting genuinely getting the information. Did his thing for me. Man, I can't stand predators. If I would have had a piece of all the pop if I was dead, there wouldn't have been no if and buts about it. I probably been going down. I would have been going downtown. I've been going downtown. But it's your boy Moosey. Do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace and the ball of happiest people.